Hotel Arena in North Little Rock, where tonight a record crowd will watch your Arkansas Razorbacks take on the Centenary Jets. I'm Steve Sullivan, pitch hitting for Paul Eels, who's in Dallas with the football Razorbacks. It's a Steve, to get the ball to the free throw stripe. Once it does, good things can happen for you. First turnover, Hogs are running. Cleveland off the glass and in. Good work by not only T.J. Cleveland, but the Indiana. Dodson, he's the second threat, knocked by Cleveland, picked off by Johnson, and look at Big Joe run down the court. Slipping it between his legs. Wide open, Cleveland, he'll take the three, he'll drain the three. Third best three-point shooter in the SEC percentage-wise. Reason why he put her wide open, Chris Walker. Too long, Dionisio Gomez had the rebound right to Johnson, over the shoulder and in. Those are the kind of things you can't teach and you can't coach. I mean, just great battle. 225 pounds. And Awfully smooth, no wasted energy in 24's game. You can't leave him open. No. Cleveland buries the three. He has eight points. Hogs lead 10-1. Cleveland has eight. Ronnie McCollum, tough runner over Johnson. Rebound goes right to Dotson for the jam. Good initial defense by Joe Johnson. Eight minutes to play in the first half. Baker posting up down low. Lane threw it away, and Centenary's going to run with the ball. Harris all the way to the hole. Great follow by Oda Koya. And all of a sudden, after a 10-1 start, the centenary's gone on hand. It sets up Teddy Gibson for the open three. Didn't want it. Carl Baker maybe a little out of his range. No! He stretched that time. He's got a lot of 17 rebounds in his last two games. Tipped by Gibson. Teddy's on the run. You're not going to catch him. It's showtime. Now, Teddy Gibson is a guy that is an all-SEC type talent. Has not put the numbers up so far this year, but... Nolan Richardson is really paying attention to the defensive glass. Arkansas not getting anything. Second, third chance. Tough shot by Sean Williams. So far through the first 13 minutes of this one, he's gotten enough. Ball knocked loose. Now three on the way. And in by Sean Williams. And second, it's a long two. And we are tied at 14. Crowd getting a little restless. Blake Edens pumps and hits the three. I mean, he can really shoot the basketball. He's six. Rebound Baker. He leads the team in rebounding, and he'll run the break by himself. He'll come out with it. Left side to Cleveland. Wide open, Brandon Dean, and he drains it. He, he had all kinds of room. Three down low to Satchel. Back outside. Dean wide open again. Short again. Davis there for the rebound and stick back. Good job by Brandon Davis. He had a clear running lane to the front of that rim when the shot was taken. He could be a very good offensive rebounder. Day. The Coleman Derry kind of night for the Hogs. Four of 12 from three point range. Down low, Satchel up off the glass and in. You know, Larry Satchel did not feel the SEC free throw shooting as a team. That, ha that has to improve. McCullum to the hoop, slapped away by Satchel. Fans 20. Elich double team, slips it left, shot up and good. That's McCullum with his first three. He quietly now has seven points and Centenary back within three, and you can feel the crowd. Johnson had the open three, take it in the paint, elevates over everyone, no good, Joe with the rebound. He plays tall, back to Walker, up and in. Good job by Baker, Johnson, and Walker. Hogs lead by only three. 28-25, all Arena, the Razorbacks lead by three. You're watching Walker all over Warren Harris. Harris didn't score, there's Baker, the steal, Walker, Hogs running, Joe Johnson. Joe between the legs, spots the open man. T.J. Cleveland drains the three. I mean, that's just really good basketball. That's recognition of personnel. Joe Johnson knew the whole time that Cleveland was going to spot up on the weak side of the floor, and he found him. He sees the entire floor. 31-25, another steal. Lane to Walker. T.J. Cleveland in the front court. Nice dish to Lane. Alonzo up, count the bucket. The Bulls go into the free throw line. How about the play of teachers? One assist for every two made basket. Look at the out-of-bounds play. That's one of the best scoring out-of-bounds plays there is in college basketball right there. Alonzo Lane, he feels like he can take this guy, and he does. Had him on his hip and said, you're going to the hole. Yeah, one-on-one -on -one against somebody his size, Alonzo Lane is a real threat. He doesn't handle the double team well yet. He doesn't handle someone 6'10 or 6'11, but Johnson, look at the high dribble, back outside to Baker, tough pass, gets it into lane. What a great touch pass by Carl Baker. That really was, because there was defensive help built in on the back side. The steal, Walker to the hole, heavy contact, and he's with McCollum forcing a shot. Johnson high for the rebound. Here he comes, rebounder, point guard, behind the back, 
He's going to take the shot. He's going to hit the shot. Oh, he's fun to watch. That's all you need to Let's see. Show. Outside to Baker, 41-28. Hogs by 13. TJ wants the three, gets the three. The whole story of the second half is Arkansas going to a man defense, forcing Centenary to shoot quick shots. Does not take bad shots. I mean, basketball a lot of times is such a simple game and people make it hard. Oh, he's good. He is electrifying this crowd. I tell you what, if you can see Cleveland leads the way with 14 points. Walker drills a three. Baker quiet so far in the second half. Three on the way from Teddy Gibson. Front of the rim, no good. High for the rebound. Baker misses the follow. Back up, Walker it in. Opening is. They're inside 10 at 52-43. Ball turned over by Cleveland. TJ stole it back. Here he comes to the hole. No look dish to Johnson for the jam. Great hands by Joe Johnson because the pass was almost at his knees. Still went down and caught it and then finished it with ease. Clock at 7.48. Walker, 17-footer is good. TJ Cleveland, pass thrown in nowhere land. Johnson comes up with it, using his body well. Took some contact, no whistle. Back to Cleveland, pumps, dishes to Satchel, yes! He's competed, I mean, that's what he has to be pleased about. Get on the floor. Stolen by Dotson. He'll race Cleveland to the bucket. No good. Rebound was tipped up by Johnson and in. The bucket will go. Gone from one side to the other a couple of times. Chris Walker tightly covered in the corner. They shift it right side. Cleveland for three. He's been hot tonight. There's another three from TJ. Looked right. Throws the pass left to Walker. He'll swing it right. He's open. He's been hot. One more for TJ Cleveland. Elich has had a good second half. Joe Johnson with the steal. Keeps it inbounds. Two on one to Walker, to Johnson. Off the glass and in. Great play by Chris Walker. I mean, he could have taken it in and forced it and dropped a tough shot, but he gave it back to Johnson. McCollum open. He's going to fire every time. No good. Rebound Dotson. Knocked away by Johnson to Baker. Cleveland alley-oop, Lane lays it in. Appreciate the effort. Some friends here, Carl Baker, too. Another Arkansas high school product. There's Johnson with the steal behind the back. Look at that pass for Brandon Dean. Hey, I saw Geese Osby. This guy could, could walk <laughs> on with the globe. The double team. There's no rest with these Razorbacks. Double teaming at every opportunity. Steal by Dean. Clock at 12. Dean dishes. Showtime! Oh! Alonzo Lane rattles the rim. Just one time when a whole bunch of us like to do that. <laughs> Here goes Dean looking at the clock. He's going to launch one. How about it? No. 73-55. Hogs in with a bang, courtesy of Alonzo Lane. Well, Nolan Richardson.